Okay, this is a short video on showing how to do a reaction calculation on a truss uh, or a beam which has got a force which is vertical and then another force which is at an angle of 45 degrees. So um, this is going to make things a little bit more complicated but it's an uh, identical process. The first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to break this force of 30 kilonewtons into its vertical and horizontal components. So what I'm going to do is just on the side over here break this force into its vertical and its horizontal components. So that's 30 kilonewtons. It's at an angle of 45 degrees. So this is going to be 30 sine of 45 and this is 30 cos of 45 degrees. And if we grab our calculators and do that quickly uh, sine of 45 times 30 is going to be 21.2 kilonewtons. So it's the vertical, and because it's 45, the horizontal is going to be the same, 21.2 kilonewtons. So that's the first thing we've done, is we've said that this 30 kilonewtons force can be replaced with a single force going down and a single force going across, both with the values of 21 kilonewtons. So I'm just going to redraw that into my question. And in fact, what I might do is I might just redraw question as a whole instead of having a angular force have my this is the one that was 50 uh, 21.2 kilonewtons and 21 kilonewtons and this force over here going along the truss is 21.2 kilonewtons as well. Now just, uh, just a reminder, these were all 10 meters apart. So that's the first step, is that you really want to just go through that process of breaking a f the, the force into its vertical and horizontal components. Once you've done that, it becomes quite simple. So going through our normal rule, our rule, step one, is to always take moments at the fixed point, the fixed point. So this is point A, that's point B, reaction. So I'm going to sum the moments around this point P, which I'm choosing, and I'm going to choose clockwise to be a positive direction. And I'm going to say the, the sum of those moments are 10 times 50, and that's clockwise, so it's positive, plus 21.2 kilonewtons times 20, because it's 10 and 10, plus the reaction at B multiplied by 30. Now the reason we can ignore the force of horizontal of 21.2 is because that force is passing through the point P, and we know that when we're calculating moments, any force passing through a point equals zero. So if we go through and do that quickly on our calculator, that's going to be 500 plus 21.2 times 20 is going to be 424 plus RB times 30. We don't know what that is. Oh, sorry, not plus. This should be a minus because RB is going to be acting in an anti-clockwise direction. Minus. So those are two mistakes. So when we do this, RB times by 30, bring this over the equal sign, is equal to 500 plus 424 is 924 kilonewtons. So RB is equal to that divided by 30, which is 30.8 kilonewtons. So that's showing us that the resultant force over here, RB, because it's a rolling support, there's only one vertical uh, reaction, is 30.8 kilonewtons. What we can do now is instead of using moments to do the rest of the calculation, we can calculate the reaction at RA using sum of vertical and horizontal forces. It's because I've only got one force here and a reaction force over here, which we don't know yet at A. No, notice this is a fixed support, so it has a vertical and a horizontal reaction. So if I sum my forces vertically, they must also equal zero. And if I add these all up, it's RA minus 50, because 50 is down, 
minus 21.2, because that's down, plus 30.8, because that's up. Almost equal zero. So RA is equal to 50 plus 21.2 minus 30.8. Let's just quickly do that on our calculator. 50 plus 21.2 minus 30.8 is 40.4 kilonewtons. So that's the vertical. Com that's the vertical component of RA. Sorry, RA vertical. That's RA vertical, just the vertical part of RA. But because this is a fixed support and this is a rolling support, RA is the only part of this bridge which can react horizontally because we've still got this 21.2 kilonewtons trying to push the bridge this way. And because the rolling support can't do anything about that, this is the only reaction support that's going to be pushing back, which means RA horizontal must equal 21.2 kilonewtons because it's got to be pushing against that. So RA vertical is equal to 20 is 40 point that and RA horizontal is equal to that. And what you'll simply now do is say well if I've got a vertical force of 40.4 and I've got a horizontal force of 21.2 kilonewtons my resultant force which is RA is going to be the square uh, sum of those square rooted. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's just do that quickly. 21.2 squared plus 40.4 squared equals, we we'll find the square root of that, equals ra, it's magnitude is 45.6 kilonewtons or there around abouts. So that's how you do it. You can also calculate the angle using the same bit of trig. But basically we start off with doing moments around a point and then we can use the vertical force. But the essential part to start with this whole problem was that you needed to break this 30 kilonewton force into its vertical and its horizontal component.